Jeff Snyder here at the Raps Interview Studio at London House here at the Toronto International Film Festival. And today we're very lucky to be joined by the team behind Spotlight, co-writer director Tom McCarthy, stars Rachel McAdams and Brian Darcy James, and writer Josh Singer. Guys, thanks for coming in today. Great to be here. So I, uh, I think that this movie all kind of started with Josh, right? You were, you were, did you start writing it when it was at DreamWorks? Uh, no, you know, it actually started with uh, a Skype chat with Tom and I. Oh, okay. Where Great. he basically, Tom was uh, on board as uh, the director and he was I looking for it. a writer. Uh, and he, uh, we had this Skype chat, uh, which was lovely. Did it, did it help at all to not have the entire city of Boston know that you were working on this movie? Uh, it always is helpful, right? I mean, as much as the publicity is a good thing early on, it's great just to be able to float in and out of places without a big... And a, news, a story like that gets a lot of attention in Boston. I think it speaks to sure. what the film's about to some degree. It's a small town, everyone's very connected, and uh, the church is something they take very seriously up there. Uh, and Rachel and Brian, you play two of the reporters. Mm -hmm. um, so Sasha was um, the the youngest member on the team. I understand you've settled several cases against the church. I can't discuss that. There aren't any records of any of these settlements. Nope. You know, she, she kind of, she spoke to a lot of the, the victims. Um, they kind of felt like they could maybe open up to her a little bit more, um, particularly, you know, men who had not talked about this in a long time and it was opening um, a whole Pandora's box for them again. So um, she was just a very compassionate listener. You're a poor kid from a poor family. And when a priest pays attention to you, it's a big deal. And did, did uh, Josh or Tom, did you guys talk to any of the actual victims? Uh, we did, yeah. We had a chance to sit down with a couple of the, they like to call themselves survivors because mm -hmm. that's what they are. And there's, um, although there were a number of victims, a uh, large number of victims also, and uh, didn't survive the abuse, uh, but we did. We had the um, good fortune to sit down with a couple of these people who uh, were very generous with their stories. Um, now, when this scandal, like, uh, like on a personal level, when this scandal actually broke, um, what were your personal reactions to it? Did it did it shatter your faith at all, or anything like that? Uh, well, I was raised Catholic, and uh, probably at that point in my life was not as connected to the Catholic Church. Uh, but of course, it, it, anyone, it, it, it's so troubling that this institution specifically, whose primary focus should be on children and needy and elderly, that this abuse would occur, and then, and not just occur once or twice, but hundreds of times, and then be covered up by the institution. Talk about working with uh, Michael Keaton, Mark Ruffalo, I mean the cast. Uh... The whole group coming together, and I mean that's so extraordinary. I mean, I've, I've never experienced that, I've never even heard of that happening. Often you're playing people who are no longer with us. So, you know, it's it's really such a gift to get to, yeah. to come together as a group like that and it made it feel so authentic and so special. Yeah.